Are you looking for industrial LED lights? Then you want to watch this video. It'll take just a few minutes and you'll get some great insights into what you need to look out for when buying industrial LED lights. Hi, my name is Dan Larrickson from Polaris Light and I'm just going to go through the five major things to look out for when buying industrial LED lights. The first thing you want to look out for is the energy efficiency. Now that tells how much light you get per energy used or lumen per watt. Now in this market there are loads of different players coming out with different types but to make it simple the range is between around 100 lumen per watt all the way up to 180 lumen per watt. The higher you can get on the lumen per watt factor, the more light you will get for each energy used. Or in other words, the more energy you will save on your energy bill. The sec second thing you want to look out for is the beam angle of the light fittings. Now, if you have a huge warehouse and there are no racking in there, you want to go for 120 degrees, which will flood the light throughout the whole area. However, if you have got aisles or narrow spaces, you want to have a beam angle that floods the light to the floor and ensures that you're not spilling all of the light up at the top, top of the rackings. So you want to flood it down and that's a narrow beam angle. You want to head for something like 30 or 60 degrees compared to the 120. And that will give you double lux level at, at the floor levels. So that is a really easy way to increase your lux levels by just adding a more narrow beam angle to your LED lights. The third thing you want to look out for is the color rendering index. Some people call it the RA, which is another way of describing it. But really, this is the quality of the light. Now, if you are outside in broad daylight, you will have a color rendering index or RA of 100. And the further down you get, so this works just like in percentages. If you go to 90% or CRI of 90, that's still pretty good and you can see most colors and you can you can see m most details if you go to CRI of 70 you people will really struggle to read what's on the packaging and to see things clearly even though you've got very high lux levels so please keep and keep in mind the CRI and make sure that it's minimum 80 so CRI of minimum 80 the fourth thing you want to look out for is the driver quality and this is what will determine how long time your LED lights are going to last. If you get a really cheap one, it will last maybe two years, maybe three years and that's it, right? This is like buying the cheapest stuff ever and it will for sure burn out really, really quickly. Now you've got lights that needs to last a long time and cost a lot of money to change. So you want to get the best drivers that you can get. And in that space, you want to go for a quality brand name driver like Philips, like Meanwell, well, like Imatronics, like Oshra, right? You want to take one of those that everybody knows that they'll last a long time. They're good quality and they cost a bit extra. They're worth the money. The last thing you want to talk about is the sensors. If you've got a site with skylights, then you want to put in daylight sensors. That will save you lots of money. Whenever the sun is shining, all your lights will turn off because the skylights is already providing for the light that you need, right? You will give about a thousand lux if you've got enough skylights. The other way you can do it is if you've got aisles that are not used that often, you can put in motion sensors. Basically, the light will turn on when somebody enters the aisle and will turn off within minutes after they've left the aisle. And that is a huge saving as well. And, and people, the LED lights, they turn on and turn off so quickly that the savings are really tremendous. 
So I hope that you got some value from this. If you want to know more, then reach out to us on www.flourishlight.com or reach out to us on the contact details right below this video. All right.